Hi, people of the internet. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I posted a video titled, I think it was an honest progress update, where I talked a bit about the goals that I publicly stated that I had for the year 2020 and, well, whether I was on track or not. And it turned out that I was not really on track for any of them, really. I decided that now we've made it halfway through this turbulent, wild and terrible, <laughs> for being honest, year, I would just try to come up with some goals that I feel like are realistic and that I might be able to achieve this year. And that's what you're gonna see today. And I hope you can get something out of this. I hope it's just enjoyable in some way or shape or form. Um, who knows? Anyway, I said publicly stated goals because I also have a bullet journal. So I've been bullet journaling for a couple of years and um, this is my current one. And I wrote a couple of goals for languages at the beginning of the year, which looked kind of like this. I thought it looked kind of fancy, kind of cool. But yeah, there were a lot of um, things that I did not mention on Twitter that I had set myself as a goal. So I'm gonna go a bit into that, just a tiny bit. Actually, disclaimer, for this video, I will only be mentioning and talking about the main goals for the year, for the languages that I'm learning um, and not every single tiny little goal that I set for myself because yeah, that would take me too long. However, if you're interested in those smaller goals, then I will be putting them in the description. So check them out. So yeah, I'm gonna do this in no particular order whatsoever. I'm just gonna name all of the languages and talk about them real quick. So first up is um, German. Yeah, you heard that right. Um, as some of you know, maybe not all of you, but um, German is my native language. I live in Germany, I was born in Germany, I was raised in Germany, my family only speaks German, but my German is um, not really all that great anymore because English is so dominant in my life and in my head. So for this year I decided I wanted to um, improve my German a little bit more and <laughs> obviously I can't really set myself like a, like a CFR goal, like I want to be C2 in German because I'm a native speaker. Doesn't really mean anything. But yeah, for this year, I wanted to read five books in German, write my diary entries in German every now and then, like maybe once a week. Not very often because I can express my thoughts and my feelings best in English. So that can hinder this, this process of writing out my thoughts. And also I wanted to start writing more. I used to be very into creative writing and I even was published a few times when I was younger. I even won some writing competitions, uh, two for short stories, one for a poem and then also one for an English short story. So yeah, I, I'd like to get more into writing again. Um, I feel like that would improve my German. And yeah, so my main goals for this year are <laughs> reading more and writing more in German. Okay, next up, Japanese. Um, I have a long history with Japanese that I will be getting into on here at some other point because there is a lot to talk about. But mainly for this year, I wanted to finish RTK, uh, Remember the Kanji, and um, I wanted to finish my N4 and N5 textbooks that I got recently because I would like to get back to um, N3. I'm not sure if I can do it by the end of this year, but next year I would like to take the N3 in the summer. Hopefully. So my goal for this year is to at least finish my textbooks, get started with the N3 material and yeah, just get back into it. Okay, so my goal for this year for Mandarin is to take either the HSK2 or the HSK3 on the 6th of December. I am not quite sure yet. I'm currently getting started on the HSK2 material, so it really just depends whether I can reach HSK3 by the time that I have to sign up for the exam, which I think the deadline is in November. But yeah, so if I reach a decent HSK 3 by that time, I will do that. If not, I'll do HSK 2. And my other like, small goals are mainly just uh, finishing my textbooks and doing all of the HSK 1, 2 and hopefully 3 grammar on the Chinese grammar Wikipedia. There's not much to say about Spanish because I've already talked about it at length in my other video. Basically, I just want to end this year at like a B1-ish level and I'm hoping that I can take the B2 uh, 
daily i don't really know what to say next year so yeah that is it already just finish my project finish my textbooks and get to like a b1 level very similar situation for french um I mainly just want to get to like a A2, V1-ish level by the end of the year, finish my textbook and kind of finish this project that I'm doing. <laughs> but that was really it for my big goals for friends. <laughs> All right, so I don't know if any of you remember, but in that video, like the honest progress update thingy, um, I admitted that I didn't really know how the topic uh, exam thing worked like I didn't really understand the levels because I'd never really researched them but I just want to uh, say that I understand now I, I looked it up I researched it I, I get it now and um, yeah my goal for this year is to um, basically just study all of the topic one material so uh, like the first two levels I suppose and finish the textbooks that I have which are Korean Made Simple by Go Billy Korean Billy Go Korean Bi Billy Go Korean Billy Go Korean and uh, Korean Grammar in Use the beginner book so yeah and also finish the Talk to Me in Korean levels one through six instead of taking the topic this year which was one of my goals I will be taking the topic next year hopefully who knows what will happen to this world until then. Next up is English. Yes, I mean, I, I don't formally study English and I don't consider myself to be studying English or, you know, I, I don't go out and do stuff that I think of as studying English. But my wish, <laughs> my goal, my hope for a long time has been taking the uh, CPE, so the C2 Cambridge exam. And for some reason, I just keep procrastinating and postponing that because I guess in some way I'm scared that I am a failure and that I'm not good enough and that I'm gonna, you know, not pass the exam and then my whole identity crisis will I t intensify like tenfold or maybe like a thousandfold because I just. Yeah, I don't think I could take that. So um, <laughs> I have been putting that off, but it, it, it really is time. To do that and I will be taking the CPE in December of this year. Also I set myself as a goal to read five books um, and I've already read over 20 so yeah I didn't, I'm not setting reading more as a goal. However I do also want to write more in English so that will be my goal for this year writing and taking the CPE. Last but not least Russian. Oh oh boy oh Russian oh my love. <laughs> My uh, relationship with Russian is really complicated because I feel like I could be much better um, by now if I just worked harder, but um, I don't know. I, I feel like I have some sort of mental block that's just like not letting me progress with what I'm doing. But my goal that I stated for this year was to take the B2 test of Russian as a foreign language um, at the end of the year. I don't really know if that's gonna happen just logistically, but I do want to feel <laughs> like I've reached B2 and would be able to pass the exam by the end of the year and then maybe take it next year. I also want to read at least one like legitimate real native book in Russian this year, but I feel like I might even be able to read more than one because i'm already in the middle of one and there's another one that i'm about to read so yeah i feel like i feel like it's gonna i feel like it's gonna happen also i have watched the first season of um sluga naroda this year and i would like to watch the second season and then maybe one more show and i also want to watch the movies so just you know i can't think of um what i wanted to say <laughs> just immerse myself in the language and yeah that is my main goal so reaching like a b2 ish no, reaching, not B2-ish, reaching a B2 level. That is my goal for this year. Uh, yeah, I think I think that was it, probably. Those were all of the languages that I am focusing on, <laughs> you know, including my native language and English. So uh, yeah, if you're watching this right now, I'm probably in Ukraine, hopefully. Um, I hope everything's going well there. I hope everything's going well for you. I hope you're, uh, you know, healthy and safe and that, yeah, life doesn't suck as much as it might seem right now <laughs> and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching and also if you've made it to this part of the video i would 
absolutely love it if you shared your own goals for the year with me either in the you know comments or on twitter and as always if you have any sort of feedback criticism anything really you can you know feel free to comment here on my instagram on my twitter follow me <laughs> here on my instagram on my twitter uh, or you know in all of these places and yeah um like and subscribe yay <laughs> uh yeah that was all uh goodbye and see you next time i hope bye